emotion clouds judgment and it can sometimes when you're passionate about something, it can be misconstrued. So um, when it comes to making decisions and earning the right to be heard, it's important that people recognize the thoughtfulness of your words and your expertise behind them so that your message isn't getting lost by how it was delivered. So, I'm so excited that we have Melissa Sinclair, VP of Business Initiatives at Promax with us today. Welcome, Melissa. Good I am morning. so glad you're here. <laughs> Hi, good morning. It's great to talk with you. Yes, yes. So, you come from a company that is so supportive and just has a very high level of positive culture. How important is that to you? You know, it's extremely important. I think when you're asking people to work hard and give 100% effort. It's essential to show them that they're appreciated. Um, the environment at Promax, it fosters opportunity. It promotes a, a culture of supportive and intelligent and talented individuals. And we all hold each other accountable at a very high level. You know, we have great products, but we have even better people. And everyone here at Promax works incredibly hard. So we like to celebrate all the wins that we get. You know, we're constantly promoting each other and lifting each other up and sharing ideas and collaborating to ensure that we're always at our best. Um, you know, we also do uh, several fundraisers a year that um, support local organizations in our community, which I think also contributes to that work-life balance at Promax. It's, it's a huge part of our culture and I'm really proud to be a part of. There's some really neat people here. And that behavior is contagious, I have to say. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. So I am going to quote something that you said, trust in yourself, keep your emotions in check, and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Those are words that you shared in your <laughs> Women at the Wheel interview. Share an example of when something, when, when that applied to you. Yeah, I think honestly, I've had to apply those practices so many times in my life, you know, um, emotion clouds judgment and it can sometimes when you're passionate about something it can be misconstrued so um, when it comes to making decisions and earning the right to be heard it's important that people recognize the thoughtfulness of your words and your expertise behind them so that your message isn't getting lost by how it was delivered you know um, in regards to getting your hands dirty you know my dad taught me I could accomplish anything in life that I wanted to through hard work um, I had everything that I needed in me to be successful, not because I was a woman, but because I was his daughter. And, you know, that taught me to believe in myself and trust myself. And it's probably the single biggest confidence that I carried with me throughout um, my entire life. And it, it drives me, it, it, it makes me never give up, no matter what level of effort it's going to take to accomplish something. And I think that people have um, if you have a, a passion and you're persistent, you're ultimately always going to find success. So, you know, don't be afraid of hard work. <laughs> love it. Love it. How is your 2021 going over your 2020? It's going great. You know, it really is like a lot of companies we had to adapt. All of our team members were working remotely. So that was new, um, challenging for me personally. We've always had regional team members, but we have a, a core group of employees that are here at the corporate office. And I think that, you know, we're really a tight knit group of people and we work best when we're together. So, um, but we adapted quickly. We stayed the course. We were able to, you know, quietly execute on tech initiatives that we were already working on and stay focused on the future of, of Promax for our team members and for our clients. Um, we started a, a monthly webinar series that showcases the strength of our offerings as well. And it leverages our relationships with our vendor partners to just be able to share their knowledge and information with our dealerships um, to make sure that they're successful in all aspects, right, of um, their business. So being in the industry over 25 years, we've developed some extraordinary partnerships. And so now we've committed to ensuring that our dealers have access to those companies and understand how they can positively impact them as well. What are some things that you adapted in 2020 that you're keeping in 2021? 
Yeah, so the webinars for sure was a new thing because we were trying to find a way, how do we continue to provide access to our dealers? How do we help them adapt to this new environment that we're in? Um, and out of that came some really great, uh, you know, like with seeking our, our vendor partnerships with the CRAs and Blackbook and all of these um, companies that are out there that have all this valuable information. We've decided to continue to do that. Our attendance is continually, um, you know, really, really great. Dealers are seeking information on how that they can continue to be successful. And I, I don't think we plan on stopping that at all. Um, and we also were able to dig in and really focus on our existing customers. And instead of maybe you know, always chasing what's new and what can we come out with next. Like we're a very innovative company and we've launched a lot of products, um, you know, proprietary to us into the industry. And, you know, so that's always going to be something that we do, but we were able to go back and really take a look at our existing client base and, and find out what, what is working for them? What do they need? What do they want? And we've put a, a huge focus on that to make sure that, you know, they continue to get what they want as we chase the sky. <laughs> I love webinars too. And and I love a yeah. good podcast. I'm I'm yeah. really doing those these days. <laughs> I do too. I love like Joe Rogan. I'm always listening to, you know, leadership podcasts and just I'm a I'm a geek for true crime. So <laughs> I do some of that too, but yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, absolutely. There's so many industry trends going on right now and pretty cool ones. What are you seeing? Which ones are you following? What's cool to you? Yeah. Um, you know, like we were just talking about with many companies in 2020, it was such a disruptive year for our dealership. So we put in a, uh, an enormous amount of effort in helping our clients adapt to changing consumer behavior right, where so much of the car buying process is now happening online, um, because we thankfully already had tools available to support this trend. Our company and myself personally, we've been very engaged with helping dealers navigate this new landscape to ensure that they're still able to be successful in maximizing the consumer experience online before they ever contact the dealership. You know, that was already kind of starting to take effect, and um, it's it's taken over for sure. So I'm quite excited to see how this continues to develop for dealers and consumers alike. And, you know, we're, we're, we're right in the midst of that as well and have um, great conversations with our dealers about how they can continue to, you know, the showroom's not going to go away, but they also have to be able to attract and keep customers on their website and give them reasons to engage with them. And so that's kind of what I've, I've been following and paying attention to for sure. One last question yeah. for you. What yeah. advice would you give a young woman moving up the leadership ladder in the automotive industry? I would tell them, you know, believe in yourself. Um, if you have a desire to contribute at a higher level, make sure those around you know it. Seek mentors that will help you grow and find the right company that's going to appreciate you and recognize your contribution and give you opportunity to prove yourself, right? Um, companies out like this are out there. They do exist. I'm at one, you know, I never felt like I didn't have a chance to win here at Promax. And I think that that speaks volumes for any company in the automotive industry, but um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there because I'm proof, you know, that hard work pays off. I started as an entry level position here at Promax and now I'm a vice president. So I just say, stay focused, you know, take chances on yourself and eventually the right people are going to notice. Awesome. Thank you so much, Melissa. We really yeah. appreciate, you, pr appreciate everything you do for this industry. Have an awesome day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.